All right, thanks for watching. And to do, I would like to present you a very cool viewer suggested problem, which deals with the integral. And the cool thing is, in the video I'll present, there will be a very subtle mistake. And what I would like you to do is to comment where the mistake is, because I have some hunch of what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe Gauss made a mistake and we just ruined all of math. Well, so watch this video to find out. And it's based on this integral, which will transform into the Gaussian integral very soon, but we'll do it in two different ways. So step one, let's just apply the u sub, because, well, this just screams to be used x minus 1 over x. So u equals x minus 1 over x. Then the nice thing is du is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Oh, how surprising. And then u of infinity, well, that's infinity minus 0, which is infinity. And then u of minus infinity, that is minus infinity minus 0. So that also works. And so in particular, this integral i becomes the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus u squared du which is just the typical Gaussian integral. So that's on the one hand by just using the u substitution. On the one hand, notice this function is actually even. If you do minus x plus 1 over x and you square it, doesn't matter. And also this is even. So this integral is even. And in particular, you can transform this into two times the integral from 0 to infinity. Again, i becomes 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of that integral. So e of minus x minus 1 over x squared times 1 plus 1 over x squared dx. And, well, um, let's now just apply the same u substitution. So let u be uh, x minus 1 over x. Okay. Then du the nice thing is it's the same thing. 1 plus 1 over x squared dx. But now just to bounce a little bit different because uh, u of infinity, well, that's still infinity. That's not a problem. But u of 0 plus, that is 0 minus 1 over 0 plus, And I believe that becomes minus infinity. Yeah. Minus infinity. So what this integral becomes, i it's 2 times integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus u squared du. But wait a moment, what have we found? Well, here we found that i is just the Gaussian integral. Here suddenly i becomes 2 times the Gaussian integral. So basically, we found that integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus u squared du equals 2 times integral from minus infinity to infinity e of minus u squared du. And so, in particular, the integral becomes 0, even though it's a positive function. So, we have effectively destroyed all of calculus. Congratulations. I didn't know it was going to happen, but we actually did that, or we made a mistake. So again, try to figure out where the mistake is. My hunch is it's probably because, you know, um, what's called, uh, you don't really think about this a lot, but uh, u-subs, they should be one-to-one, -one, and maybe that was the issue. I don't know, but again, uh, try to figure out in the comments what it is. I'm very excited to see the answers. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.